Hey guys, so today someone contacted me saying that they want a custom coded theme. Something like this where they have a lot of custom sections that you won't find pre-built in many of Shopify's themes. But what they said is that they have a designer who will create those designs in Figma and then they want me to code those designs into a Shopify theme. And the thing is, I haven't done this in a few years, more than a few years, because this is quite an outdated workflow by now on Shopify in 2026, you know, so I wanted to make this video to give you some other options if you want a custom looking theme. The thing is, there's a lot of negatives to custom coding a theme these days. First of all, it takes a lot of time and money to develop a theme that you as the store owner will be able to then modify yourself. So like, you know, the settings that you have in the sidebar in Shopify, when I'm coding those settings, I need to think about what you might want to modify. And then I need to create a bunch of different options. I need to write all the code for every possible configuration of those settings. So that takes a long time. What's going to be much easier for me is to just custom code something without settings. But then you would have to, you know, ask me to make any changes to your theme. So making Custom themes for Shopify has always had this sort of problem, like how many settings do you actually create? How much time should the developer spend making the theme more customizable for you? Or are you going to become more reliant on the developer every time you want to make any changes? The other thing is that in recent years, everyone wants to update their themes a lot. Ever since Shopify launched this feature where we can see that the next theme update is out and themes have, I think, started being updated more often as well with new features constantly. So people want to stay up to date with the latest theme. And that's very difficult to do when you have a fully customized, custom coded theme, right? Again, you're relying on that developer to update your theme to the next version. Now, finally, I mean, this person who contacted me wanted uh, a custom theme based on Dawn. And I would say that Maybe you should not base themes on Dawn nowadays because we have Horizon now. Horizon is the new default Shopify theme and Horizon is much more customizable uh, just without code, right? So yeah, those are the reasons why I, I don't like to custom code a theme these days. The other biggest reason is that there are so many good alternatives. For example, any competent Shopify designer, I think will they could partially use Figma, yeah, but they would partially also just be designing in your Shopify theme, in your Shopify admin, using the options available within that theme. You can go pretty far, especially with the latest themes like Horizon. You can customize this a lot. I mean, this Horizon theme and all the Horizon generation themes, they were made for designers to be able to make any layout that they want by themselves without having to rely on a developer. But even if you're not using Horizon, there are various options. For example, let's say you start with Dawn. You can do a combination of Dawn plus Design Packs, which is an app that allows you to add custom sections into your theme. So anything that Dawn doesn't have, Design Packs will probably have, and it's very highly customizable. So a designer can completely build a very custom looking site using a combination of Dawn and Design Packs, or a combination of Dawn and Section Store, which is another, uh, another app that allows you to add these custom sections, or let's call it a section library, right? It's not a page builder. It is a section library that installs new sections to your theme. Design Packs and Section Store are both great for that. They're great tools for designers who do not code. They can still make a very unique looking store. Finally, the other option is page builders. So you might've heard of Pagefly, for example. Pagefly is the one that I'm most familiar with. Now, a lot of people criticize page builders for slowing down your store because they can be very bulky. They load a lot of extra code, but this partially also depends on how you design the store within that page builder. So it is possible to make a more or less clean store using a page builder. So the things that are really going to slow down your store is if you use lots of things like pop ups, carousels, sliders, a lot of interactivity, moving elements and things within that page builder, that's going to slow down your store a lot more than if you just build a very clean looking design with very minimal interactions. So it is possible to use a page builder and keep it lightweight. Finally, you could hire a developer only for the, the last 10%, you know, for the last, the final touches, things that the designer was not able to do. 
And the thing about that is like, you will know, or rather the designer will know what they can do and what they can't do. So you don't have to be guessing as a store owner, your designer, who I hope is, is very experienced in Shopify, will be able to say, okay, we need a developer to do this, this, and this. And then they will probably know a developer or be able to recommend a developer that can do those things. What I'm saying is that in 2026, rather than getting any designer to create a custom design in Figma and then separately hire a developer to build that, what you should do is hire a designer who specializes in Shopify, who knows Shopify very well, who knows how to use the Shopify apps, who knows how to use Shopify themes and horizon theme, you know, and the page builders and things like section store or design packs has that experience. They'll be able to do a very custom store for you. And then you can use a developer perhaps for the final 10% for those, those extra features that you might need for your specific store. Maybe it's upsells, maybe it's some custom delivery calculator or something. Developers are good for that, those sorts of things, for those custom features. I'd say the only stores right now who need a fully custom coded design are those who can afford to hire a developer on a retainer, right? Um, so like the, the stores that are enterprise level stores, you know, probably on Shopify plus, and you can afford to have a developer on like 10 or 20 hours per month retainer to, to build your fully custom theme, right. And then to maintain that theme. So whenever you may need to make changes, they can make those changes for you. That's going to be the cleanest and most high quality way to have a fully custom coded theme. That's the best way, but you know, you got to make sure that you have that kind of budget. But that's not most people who watch this channel. If you're a small business, if you're a family business, if Shopify is perhaps a side hustle for you, then a fully custom coded store is not the way to go. Hire a Shopify designer, use design packs, section store, the new horizon theme, and you have a beautiful store. Please leave a like if this helped you. See you in the next one.